Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is everything I had for breakfast from Monday to Sunday. Lots of really really cool and simple recipes in this one. Also, it would be amazing if you could click the like button really quickly before we get started. Thank you so much. Um, and without further ado, let's get into it. Monday's breakfast came in two parts. Part one being this incredibly lazy autumn wintry oatmeal. I basically just added some quick cooking oats to my breakfast bowl together with some chia seeds, cinnamon and a pinch of salt. Gave that a quick mix and then poured over some hot water. Just enough to cover the oats. And then I let that sit for about five minutes. Meanwhile, I had time to cut myself a slice of this chai cake that a friend of mine made recently. It is delicious. So delicious, in fact, that I ended up baking this cake myself a few days later. Here's a timestamp for that chai cake recipe in case you want to skip to that right away. Okay, now back to the oats. In order for them to taste less plain, I grated some fresh ginger directly into the bowl. Then I added some pumpkin spice syrup and a bit of oat milk. And I finished everything off with some grated apple. I love grated apple in oatmeal. Tuesday's breakfast was kimchi beans on toast. To a nonstick skillet over medium heat, I added some black beans, vegan kimchi, a bit of tomato puree, some agave, some sesame seeds, and a bit of water. I allowed this to cook for about five or six minutes. And then I set that aside. Now to the same skillet, I'm adding a tablespoon of vegan butter. You could totally clean the pan out, by the way. Um, I did not do that. To the melted butter, I'm adding a few pieces of gluten-free toast. I'm not gluten-free, by the way. I just happen to have some gluten-free bread left over from a recent Kardashian recipe that I tried. Also added some fresh chives to the top, as well as some vegan chili mayo. Yeah, this was really nice. I'm having my first persimmon of the season today. It was so soft that I had to kind of turn it into a puree of sorts. And then I mixed that with some unsweetened yogurt and vanilla protein powder. And then I added walnuts on top and some granola and cinnamon. It doesn't look very good, but it, it does taste really nice. Very much autumn in a bowl. And I also made some coffee, which I did end up having to take with me. I'd promised to help with a friend's move. I was surprised by how fast we were. We took about an hour, I would say, to finish everything. Moving on to Thursday. First off, we have these overnight banana walnut chia puddings. This recipe I saw on a YouTube short. It will be linked down below, of course. But basically, to a blender the night before, I added some oat milk, chia seeds, banana, and a bit of agave syrup. I blended this up for a few minutes and I still could not seem to get it to be super smooth as it is in their video, but I think that's okay. And then I divided this mix evenly between four bowls slash glasses. And then I cleaned out the blender and added all the ingredients for the second layer. And once you blend this up, this turns into a really nice walnut cream. You divide the cream between the four servings and place everything in the fridge to sit for a minimum of one to two hours, I would say, but I kept them in there overnight to have them for breakfast the next day. My family really enjoyed these as well. They were in Berlin because it was my little sister's 12th birthday. 
I swear, during the fall time, not a week passes without there being somebody's birthday in my life. The original recipe is by a food blogger called So Vegan. I will, of course, have their recipe linked down below. Um, I just made a few slight changes to this. The cake base I made the night before, placing all the wet ingredients in a large mixing bowl first, setting that aside for about five minutes whilst preheating the oven to 180 degrees Celsius and making sure I've got an eight inch brownie pan lined with some parchment paper. In a separate bowl, I combined all the dry ingredients. Now, instead of the chai spices that are listed in the original recipe, I was inspired by the Taylor Swift cookie recipe and added straight up chai tea bags. Mix this up and allow this to bake for 30 to 35 minutes. Now back to Thursday, excuse all the time jumps in this, I hope it's not too confusing, but the next morning I made the buttercream frosting for this cake. Whipping up some room temperature plant-based butter first and slowly adding some sifted powdered sugar to it and also a bit of salt. And then I spread this atop of the cake, finishing everything off with a handful of walnuts. This cake is definitely a bit more on the dense side, almost like a blondie, I would say. So I could definitely imagine adding some chocolate chips to this before baking, of course. Friday's breakfast is another savory one and it also involves beans again. I brought a nonstick saucepan with a bit of vegan butter to medium, together with some rosemary twigs, which I didn't bother cutting up. I just added them straight to the pot. And that's pretty much it. I had this on some hummus toast. adding some fresh chives here on top. Also, the drink of the day happened to be some winter punch. Cut half an orange and half an apple into slices and transfer that to a large saucepan. Then add all the other punch ingredients. Apple juice, cinnamon sticks, vanilla, water, some other cozy spices if you want. A bit of sweetener, I added some pumpkin spice syrup. Oh, and lastly, also add some tea bags. Ideally, some fruity tea bags, such as cherry tea, berry tea. Bring this up to a quick boil and then allow the tea to steep over medium low for about five to 10. Then carefully remove the tea and allow the punch to continue simmering on low for another 10 plus minutes. This was overall just the most wholesome day. I took my family to go paint ceramics with me. This next breakfast does not come with a recipe, but I thought I would share it with you guys anyway. I went to a little birthday brunch. It was at this cafe called Freundlichst in Prenzlauberg. Afterwards, we went to this really cool giant bookstore in Mitte called Dussmann. They've got the English and the German version linked down below. Last but not least, here is Sunday's breakfast. It's this cozy vanilla quinoa porridge. So first off, I cooked up some quinoa, just like I normally would, quinoa and water. While the quinoa was cooking and steaming, I took the time to show off my new t-shirt. Very jealous of every single person who went to this show. I got this t-shirt from Vinted uh, the other day for like seven, eight euros. It's really cute and it fits perfectly and I really, really like it. I'm not sponsored in any way, shape or form by Vinted, by the way, but I thought this is a really cool hack, finding old merch on that website. 
Once the quinoa was soft, I added some oat milk, way too much oat milk actually. And then I had to bring everything up to a boil in order to get rid of some of the liquid. To the pot, I then also added a few tablespoons of oats, some vanilla protein powder, a handful of walnuts, some extra vanilla, and maybe a pinch of salt. And then that was pretty much it. I finished everything off with a bit of agave syrup, another splash of milk, the apple chunks, almond butter, and that was that. If you've enjoyed this video and maybe you're in need of some more breakfast inspiration, check out either of these two videos. That's a very YouTuber thing of me to do, I know. Um, but those are other weekly breakfast vlogs that I've shot over the years. Also, a huge shout out to everybody who's commenting and liking. Thank you, thank you. Helps me out so, so much. Apart from that, it's pretty much it. Take care. Bye.